Okay, so now we're doing our eighth and final problem on the list here. And number eight tells us that the claim is that the mean is less than 14.8. Again, if we have a less than symbol, we know we're dealing with HA. That's one of the symbols that HA uses. And that also tells us that we have a left tail test. So we're going to draw a left tail on our curve. And we're going to be looking for this critical value, which will be negative because it's on the left-hand side of the curve. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to look up alpha 0.04. So alpha equals 0 0.04. That's 4% in this tail. That's not one of the values you can find on your t-table, at the top of your t-table. So that means we must use the z-table in this case. And that's all right. Nothing wrong with using the z-table. But in order to do that, remember, the z-table needs this area from here to here. So we're going to need to figure out what that would be. Well, 50% of the curve has 0.5 area in it, right? And then if you subtract 4% from 50%, you get 0.4600 or 4600, right? 46% and 4% make 50%. So we're going to look up this 4600 in order to find the corresponding z-score on the table. So let's go to the z-table now and look up 0.4600. Okay, so we're looking for the closest area to 0.4600. We're going to look down on this row until we find something near there. And then we'll find the corresponding z-score to that. Okay, so I have this row 1.7, and it's got uh, 0.4554 in it. And let's go across to see if we see something close to 0.4600. Well, that's real close, right? That's just one ten thousandth away. The corresponding z-score is 1.75. So that's the z-score we'll use for this problem, 1.75. Okay, so we found the answer 1.75, so the answer is negative 1.75, and that's our eighth and final critical value that we found, 1.75, and that's it.